Power is being restored. Tree limbs removed after a storm packing up to 80 mile an hour winds rolled through the metro last night. Fox 4's Sean McDowell live near downtown Independence tonight. One of the harder hit areas in the metro, Sean. And John, specific to downtown Independence, the wind gauges hit nearly 60 last night. That's quick enough to be severe, as I learned today from our friends in the Fox 4 Weather Center. They also tell me about a half inch of rain fell during that storm last night. That weather event has kept everybody busy today. Crews are working to get the power back on, and everybody's also picking up after that storm, getting tree limbs ready for the wood chippers. Little by little, lights and air conditioners are coming back to life on a hot August day in Independence. 7,600 customers were without electricity after Wednesday night's strong storm knocked out the power around 11 o'clock. By the time you get back, power should be back on. My kitties will be happy. Every repair crew employed by Independence Power and Light is on the road, along with a few brought in from out of town. City of Independence spokesperson Rebecca Gannon says many of these workers have been on the clock without much of a break, getting customers back online, hopeful to prevent this from becoming a multi-day outage. It's cooler than it has been. That doesn't mean it's cool. So we're doing everything we can to get people on as quickly as possible because we know it's nice under the trees. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be nice any other way. Many Independence neighborhoods have fallen trees. This car Fox 4 News spotted off Jennings Road has seen its better days. Further west, trees fell near the Mound Grove Cemetery and at homes in the nearby neighborhood. On River Boulevard, the storm knocked down this old rotten tree in a vacant yard. It was blocking traffic for a while, but an Independence Public Works crew was spotted getting it out of the street. And the power is being restored at a pretty good pace. I checked the numbers just about five minutes ago. Independence Power and Light now has about 1,200 customers without power. On the Evergy side of the equation, roughly 10,500 customers still in the dark, but they're getting everybody back online. Those numbers change quickly. Uh, John, there may be many customers who feel like they still need some attention from the utility companies. We've put their phone numbers on our website. That's fox4kc.com.